Welcome to the Jungle Gardeners. Today we're going to cover a topic I have teased in a couple of other videos asking if anyone wanted to see more information and nobody said yes, but nobody said no. So I'm going to talk to you about the problem that was happening with my pepper plants and always is anyway. And if you don't want to know, don't watch, but someday it's going to happen to your pepper plants and then you're going to complain that you didn't know. So here's one such pepper plant here having the problem. You can see how the leaves look stringy, stunted. They've got this weird growth pattern happening here, this weird zigzagging. And what's happening, and you can also see the new leaves aren't even coming out, they're not opening. The growing point is just completely toast. This is broad mite damage. We've got a fruit there, but it's also gonna not get very big. And the plant has just stopped growing. It is being heavily damaged by broad mites. I'll show you a couple other examples. Here's another pepper that really had a hard time with the broad mites. You see that growing point is completely dead. The rest of the plant is alive, but that part of the plant is dead, and that is broad mite damage. They have been severe this year, as they always are when it's a dry winter, which it always is down here. So we're always fighting broad mites. They're awful. They're tiny. They're microscopic. You can't see them. They're difficult to control. I've already sprayed for them four or five times. I sprayed for them last weekend and they're back. So I'm gonna have to spray again. Um, natural enemies don't seem to ever show up for broad mites. So it has to be chemical control, sadly, of course. With me, it's usually organic chemicals. Um, this plant seems to be okay. My banana peppers don't seem to be as affected, but they're gonna get sprayed anyway, just in case. Cayenne pepper over here. This one looks okay. This cayenne pepper plant does have some broad mite damage. Now I'm going to see if I can actually show you guys the broad mites themselves. So you've seen the damage, the stunted leaves, the dead growing points. This is old damage. The broad mites only feed on the younger foliage. They like the young baby new growth, new tiny leaves, new tiny flowers, new tiny fruits. So the older leaves, that damage is old. They're probably not on those leaves anymore. All right, I found some. I've got a magnifying device on my phone. You can see here, broad mites. Those little things that look like grain of sands but are moving. Those are the broad mites. Yeah, they're tiny. You won't see them with your naked eye. This is very well magnified. Those are broad mites, those tiny little moving grains of sand on this leaf that is very well magnified right now. And those little tiny things, smaller than a grain of sand actually, that's what's causing all the damage on my pepper plants. Severe damage, destroying my crop. That little guy there. And here's an older damaged leaf, just to give you evidence. No broad mites. They're not on the older foliage, they only like the younger foliage. Here's another younger leaf, pretty well damaged. Ugh, sorry about the focus. There's a little broad mite running around. Don't know if you can see it in the middle of the screen there. It's on the move. It's running out of focus. There's another one. Sorry about the focus, guys. It's hard with this magnifying device. But you can see those are broad mites. They're tiny. There it goes. There it goes. And out of focus again. Smaller than a grain of sand, very tiny. You're not going to see them with your naked eye, but you do see the damage. You're going to notice the damage on your fruits. So what am I going to do for these guys? Well, last week I sprayed insecticidal soap for them, which is potassium salts, or fatty acids or something. I don't know. This time I'm going to use spinosad, because the last time I used spinosad it seemed to work pretty well. And I'm going to have to make sure to get the under and top of the leaves. Because these are all the undersides of the leaves where I'm finding them. They're smart. They hide. So I'm going to have to make sure I really get under those leaves with the spinosad to kill these guys. And the problem is if you don't treat the broad mites, this is what your pepper plants are going to look like. Just completely stunted. This thing got really badly destroyed by broad mites a while ago. And it's still not growing out of it. Put on the one pepper and just stopped because the broad mites just chewed these growing points to nothing, to just nubs. 
So we're going to work on that. We're going to spray these guys down and hope that we got it soon enough that they can grow out a bit. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.